All right, Code Monkeys, this is my second attempt to do this. I messed up the first one. I'm going to do a demo here that will, just like the uh, Fahrenheit lab, take care of the inputting of data and the calculating and the output in a slightly different way than the others. So in Fahrenheit, you'll notice, or if you, if you looked at it, you'll see that there are methods there that are a little bit different than the other ones. Kind of like I talked about line was a little bit different than the other ones also. So let's get started. This is my class, not my runner, but my class. So I'm going to do a demo of converting miles to kilometers. So the first thing you see up here at the top, I have an instance variable for miles. That's the data that's coming into my program. So that's where in my runner, I'm going to put in the number of miles that I would like to have converted to the number of kilometers. Notice there's not an instance variable for kilometers right here. Okay, I'll talk about that in a minute. Then, then there's no constructor like with the line one. We've got a set method. And it consumes an input parameter called mi. Remember, the parameter is local to this one method. It doesn't exist anywhere. The variable is the one that's, that needs to contain the data. So it's variable assigned to parameter. Variable on the left, parameter on the right. Okay, so that's the same as all the other examples we've done. Then instead of a calculate kilometers, I've got a method called get kilometers. And instead of it being void, like the other ones have been, and instead of setting some instance variable equal to my calculation like with the other ones, this time I'm going to do it differently. I'm going to declare a local variable that exists just inside these curly braces. So the scope of double kilometers right here is just these curly braces. I declare it, do the calculation. 5.0 divided by 3.1 is one way to do it. I just happen to know that 3.1 miles is 5 kilometers. So I can multiply that by the number that I've been given. And I store that in my variable. And then instead of just leaving it alone, and then later I'll access kilometers, instead of that, since this is local, the only way to get the data out of this method is to use a return statement. Notice that it's public double get kilometers, not public void calculate kilometers. Since this says double right here, that's its return type. And since it's got a return type besides void, I've got to have a return statement of some kind. So the very last line of my method is return and the number I just calculated. So this variable kilometers, its only job is to hold this data just for a minute until I could return it out of the method. Okay, so if you look down at my print method where I've got out.println, the number that I started with miles, miles is, I'm concatenating that string on, and here where normally I would put the variable where I had done the calculation, I'm actually calling the method get kilometers. So right here, it would, the, when the little green men get to this line, they'll say, oh, I need to print this variable and I need to concatenate this string, but before I can put a number in this spot right here, I've got to actually go out here, run this method, convert it and it comes back with a number and it would so that entire line right there get kilometers open and close paren that entire highlighted bit would be replaced by whatever the right number is and then I continue concatenation bit with kilometers on the end so if I compile this and then I've got a runner here I constructed an object I called set miles and once I've done this right here I can actually call print. And inside print, remember, it's calling get Celsius, I mean get Celsius, get uh, kilometers, so it'll actually do that calculation for me, okay? So this is the same pattern to do with get Celsius, I just can't talk. So if I run this, I'll see that I get out here my output, which is in the wrong display there, some really big number, 42 point blah, 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 blah. Well, let's change this so that it's formatted correctly, okay? So I'm going to show you one of the tricks that I haven't, don't think I've mentioned in class. When you're using concatenation like this, one of the things you can do with Java is everywhere there's a plus sign, you can actually put that stuff on separate lines, and it still compiles, and it still runs the same way. So here, I'm going to show you what I mean, and then I'll tell you why I did that. So it still runs the same way. The benefit of separating things by where the concatenation is when you need to have a lot of stuff, a lot of code inside your print line, you can break it up like that. So I'm going to use a method here called string.format. So notice I put get kilometers inside string.format. Okay, string.format is just like printf. It needs two things. It needs the pattern you want to follow, which in our case is round to two decimal places, and it's a float and then comma the number you wanted to use. So this is still get kilometers. I'm still not using uh, any uh, variables. I'm still using get kilometers, okay? All I'm doing though is rounding it, if I've done this right, 
to two decimal places. Now I'm not actually changing the variable, I'm just changing how it's displayed. So let's see. So now 26.2 miles is 42.26. And if I didn't like it rounded to, well maybe I wanted it to look the same. So I'll round it to just one decimal place. Looks the same as in my input. I could do that there. So everywhere that you need to format a double, every single place where a double needs to be formatted, you can actually put that double inside string.format with this pattern and it would format it. So like if miles had been set equal to 26.20189 blah blah blah, I could use string.format here too if I wanted. So it does make for a lot of code, but it makes for better output. So um, that's how that works. At this point, I'm not really requiring string.format, but I guarantee you, you will see it on the test, so you may want to practice it. Well, we'll also probably do one of these in class as like a, an assignment, see how that goes. Okay, at this point, you should be uh, good to go with um, all of these labs, including Fahrenheit, which had the weird rules, including Line, which had the weird constructor. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm sure you will.